All right, in this lesson today, we're just going to be looking at trig functions here. And when we're already given a trig value, we need to try to find more trig values from them. So anytime you're given what a trig value is, the answer I'm going to say to you is just to draw a right triangle. Pick one of your non-right angles and call it theta. If tangent of theta is 4 over 5, how can I draw a triangle? Well, I can make my opposite be 4, my adjacent be 5. That way I have 4 over 5 for tangent of theta. What I need to do now is find these other trig functions. So if I wanted to find sine of theta, here's theta. Sine is opposite over hypotenuse. But I don't know what the hypotenuse is. I can figure that out, though, using Pythagorean theorem. I have a leg, 4. Another leg, which is 5, equals my hypotenuse squared. So this becomes 16 plus 25, which is 41, equals c squared, which means that hypotenuse is the square root of 41. And I would always leave it in that radical form. So now I know what that radical is, and I can go and write down my answer now, that this ends up being <coughs> sine of theta is going to be 4, the opposite, over the square root of 41, the adjacent. Now, I can't leave it like that. We've said this before. We can't leave radicals in the denominator. So I multiply by root 41 over root 41, and I get an answer. I get an answer of 4 square roots of 41 over 41. I can do all the other ones now, too, because I have all three sides of the triangle figured out. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse, so it's 5 over root 41, which, again, I don't like. It's the same, though, when I multiply through. It'll be 5 square roots of 41 over 41. I already was given tangent. Now on the right-hand side, all of these, I just need to flip the fractions. Now, I'm not going to flip my new fractions that I've already rationalized. Always flip your original fractions, just because that makes things a lot easier. Root 41 over 4, root 41 over 5, and 5 over 4 are your answers. 